Hi, welcome to another Mac Tips video. In this video, we're going to discuss how you can create your own dashboard widget. We recently released a widget for Mac Tips and it's done quite well, so I thought we might go over just how I created that. Now, I've made two widgets so far the first without dash code, the second with dash code, and let me tell you, there is a big, big difference. Using dash code makes the whole process a whole lot easier. So, let's get started. First, we're going to open up dash code. And we have a bunch of different template options that we can choose from. We can create a custom, countdown, RSS, photocast, video podcasts, daily feed. Uh, these are all different templates that you can base your widget off. We're going to start with Quartz Composer, just to kind of give you an idea of something neat you can do with the dashboard. Now here's the default layout for dash code. You have the front of the widget, the back of your widget, widget attributes where you can add different languages and allow internet access and command line access. You have the default image which is the image shown while loading your widget and you have the widget icon which is the icon used at the bottom of your dashboard to display your widget. So right here. Now if you've never used dash code before they give you workflow steps to make sure that you cover everything needed for your particular widget. We're going to ignore this for now, and we're just going to run the widget. Now this looks like a fairly basic widget, and it is, but it's just meant to give you an idea of what you can do with the Quartz Composer when it comes to widgets. So this is a 3D block that you can rotate, but you can also spin it, which is kind of neat. Now it's easy to see how you can do something that you know really works well and looks very cool at the same time. So we're going to stop that. And if we were to look at the back, it says developed with dash code. You can change all that. Then you hit stop to quit running it and we're done. So let's look at another widget template that we can use, which is the RSS template. Now this is the template I used for creating the Mac Tips widget. Now to, to get started, you're going to want to drag an RSS feed onto your widget. So for this, we're going to use Apple's Hot News, if it ever loads. There we go. So we just drag that onto the widget. Click Run, and as you can see, I can't really do side by side. But as you can see right here, the items are pulled directly from the RSS feed. So that's kind of neat, but I mean, is that all that you can do with dash code? Uh, the quick answer is no, not by a long shot. If you create a custom widget, the basic hello world, and you pull up the library, it gives you all these different parts that you can add to your widget to add some functionality. So we drag and drop a checkbox, pop up menu, we're just going to make this look really ugly really quick. As you can see, all these different guidelines allow me to quickly place uh, different parts from the library on the widget and have them align correctly. So if I want this to align with the radio button, you can see this blue line jumps up right there. If I want it to align in the center, right there, or So there's, there's really uh, a lot of different things that we can do here. Um, I 
Now, obviously, you have to actually make all these things do something. But as far as just being able to design your widget with dragging and dropping, it makes the whole process really, really easy. Now, in addition to the library with parts, you also have code, which we're not going to get into too much, but it has different things like generic animation, fade in, fade out, uh, you know, copy, drag and drop, support. And these are all things that you would drag into your code, which I have not shown you yet, which I will now. So if you don't want to just do everything from uh, kind of a WYSIWYG interface, they offer the code view, which lets you dive down into what's actually underneath your widget. So this is really powerful if, if you're creating a custom widget, like I did for the Mac Tips widget. And let me show you why. So it's really neat because it'll let you just open existing widgets and you can kind of tear those apart and, and see what's going on underneath them. But here you see the Mac Tips widget and basically uh, a kind of interface um, that lets you design different items, different places. We've got the search box up here, the logo, uh, the buttons that we created custom down here. But under all this, there's I don't know, a couple different files that lets you change how your widget actually works. Now, Dash Code fills in a lot of this for you, but it's really nice because when you run it, it gives you this great debugger. So for example, uh, let's just say, search for the load. So whenever it loads, I'm going to alert. Okay. Um, okay, can't save that. So we're going to save this somewhere else really quick. Okay. So now we run it, and now that it loads, you see up here you have the debugger. This is a Mac Tip screencast. This makes it really, really simple when you're debugging what's wrong with your widget. Uh, like I said before, I've made two widgets so far, one without dash code and one with dash code. I used the basic RSS template for this and really customized it uh, all over. And I found that the debugger and the inspector really, really come in handy when trying to find out why certain things aren't working. So that's about as far as we're going to dive in, as far as making your own widget goes. But it, Dash Code is a really great tool for creating your own widgets, whether you're a seasoned developer or you've never created one before. If you're new to making widgets, you can use one of their pre-made templates. And if you're an experienced developer who's made tons of widgets but you've never tried Dash Code, I would highly suggest giving it a try. Thanks. <laughs>